The bodies of two construction workers were found in the cold waters of Baltimore Harbor, trapped in their red pickup truck after a giant cargo ship slammed into the bridge they had been filling potholes on, causing a thunderous collapse. Maryland police announced the grim discovery at a press conference, adding that sonar shows what they believe are more vehicles trapped within the concrete and twisted steel debris of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Six of the eight-man construction crew are believed to have been killed, with four bodies yet to be found. Warning that it was not safe for divers to try to penetrate the wreckage, police told a press conference that they were shifting to a salvage operation, removing the superstructure and then sending divers back in to recover the rest of the bodies. Federal investigators also gave a detailed timeline of the tragedy based on preliminary findings from the ship's voice data recorder. Nearly the entire steel structure, crossed by tens of thousands of motorists each day, collapsed within seconds, cascading over the bow of the ship, blocking one of the busiest U.S. trading ports. There was no chance to evacuate the eight workers filling potholes on the interstate directly above the oncoming ship. Named the two victims found as Alejandro Hernandez Fuentes, a 35-year-old who had lived in Baltimore but was originally from Mexico, and his 26-year-old colleague Dorlian Roniel Castillo Cabrera, who lived in the suburb of Dundalk but came from Guatemala. Two others were pulled from the water alive in the moments after the collapse. The Port of Baltimore is the ninth busiest major U.S. port in terms of both foreign cargo handled and foreign cargo value, and is directly responsible for more than 15,000 jobs, supporting almost 140,000 more.